All right, it's August 27th. It's a Friday here at Dunn's Mountain Nature and History Preserve. And I'll have to tell you, as I drove in here, I'm not too impressed with it. They got this big chain link fence goes all the way down to the entrance down there. All the way around and it's coming down the road. It looks like the entire place is fenced in. I believe it's 82 acres. You can see it goes up that side and fences in this old parking lot. So I don't know if it's a nature preserve. I don't see how Bambi there is getting in and out of this fence that they got all around it. I don't think a nature preserve would need to have no fences where the animals could come and go. Only animals going in and out of here are rabbits and something smaller than a rabbit maybe. I don't even think the deers can jump over this fence. I know they can normally jump over barbed wire fences and things like that and get around but they've fenced this whole thing off it looks like and uh, I believe it used to be a rock quarry so we're gonna go up here and see what they got and see what it's all about this is my first time here I see they got two vans and a little shed over here and I believe there's a little road up past my RV there that they'll drive people up if you're handicapped there has to be somebody here to do that so that doesn't make any sense to me, I guess only on certain days if you handicap, you can only come on certain days or whatever. It would make more sense to me to just open that gate up and have it handicap parking only up at the top. Because what we're going to do is walk up a half mile trail over here, I believe. Anyway, we'll go up here and check out the sign and we'll get started there. So I was just reading the rules and regulations as I walked up to the trailhead and I noticed it said stay inside a fenced or marked areas at all times visitors who go outside of fences or marked areas will be expelled from the park Ooh, that's inviting isn't it yeah stay inside the fence don't don't go into nature stay inside the fence <laughs> maybe I'm overacting to this fence but I don't like it so we got some restrooms up here See, no restrooms are at the top of the mountains. Make sure you relieve yourself before you get there so you don't have to pee alongside the trail, I reckon. Uh, got some yellow signs up here. We can imagine what that's all about. Yeah, there's a shuttle bus road over there, and it's closed today, so I guess I guess you could wheel a wheelchair up to this trail. But uh, I'm pretty sure it says something about that band for handicap, so... I guess you just have to call and say what days it take you up if you want to do that. Dunn's Mountain Nature and Historic Preserve. Got the operations. 11 to 5, 12 to 5. So they don't open early in the morning, so you have to come around noon, it looks like. Which is odd. I said this is a history thing, but I don't see any history information here so far. All hikers must stay on trail. Well, this is not really a trail. This is a sidewalk with a fence on each side. Feels like more, feels more like a prison preserve to me so far. Locked in these gates. Well, I used to put a sign telling you about the tree there. I guess it's those trees there. I'm not sure. Don't look like it to me. Let's go on up. I mean, this is the thing that, yeah, I don't know whose idea this fence was. If you got a preserve where you got to fence people in, they can't just walk around. I mean, don't have to preserve. That's stupid. <laughs> Let people walk around, make some little trails off of here, shoot off trails, going through these rocks and things. Maybe some picnic areas, stuff like that. That'd be nice. Let's see here. He turns the gravel. Let me get on up through here. Stay on the trail. So I guess it does, maybe. Heck, this ain't even a trail. Alright. I guess this is a little gate for special people who have access to go into nature can go through. If you got the magic key. You can tell this was a rock court one time. You can see the where they dug things out. But you know, they can 
I can take this area. Yeah, I can see up on top there's a fence up there too. I can take that area right there and make it into a nice little picnicking area. Fix it up real nice for people to enjoy. Alright, let's go back down. We'll take a ride up here and head on up. So we just took a right back there where we split off to go look at that little area of the quarry. It's all like a little gravel road here the whole way. We do have some signs talk about nature which is good. This is one of those for now I believe it's how you say it seasonal pools that provide habitat for specialized amphibians and whatnot. And uh, they're part of nature and some wildlife needs those things. So I'm glad they marked that out. Like I say, the, like I say, the fence just ruins the whole idea of being out in nature to me. It's, it's beautiful out here. I mean, they got these stones and things. You could have a little trail going up there and maybe letting the kids play on those rocks. Let them run around on it. No. Don't do that. Don't let your kids play on rocks. Keep them in the fence. Keep them in line. That's the way our whole country's getting these days. I'm about sick of it. There's the road out there. That's where I came in and it was fenced in on the other side too. So if there's any animals in there, they look like getting in and out I guess. Look how beautiful that is. It wouldn't hurt to have, have let them go up there and play around on them rocks. It's weird. Part of it's gravel, then I go here and it's sidewalk again. So maybe they're, I'm gonna give them the benefit of doubt and assume they're in the midst of fixing this up. For some reason, they needed to, felt like they needed to spend all this money on this chain link fence. You can see a gate there, so you, you could go over there. Look at that big stone over there, another great place that would be fun to go visit. Can't do that. Some more stones right here. And it, to me, when I was a kid, we had these stones out in the back of our yard. Sam, we're not quite as much as this. This is a lot better. We used to go out there and crawl on them and play out and have fun. We call it the big rock. Yeah, this is great natural features here. That you can't enjoy. And it just talks about the rocks right there. <laughs> it's like a, a zoo for rocks, I guess. We have to stay on the other side of the fence. Heaven knows somebody's footprints might step on the rock and hurt it. Another great place. You put a little area here. I mean, look, you could go up in there and just run around. Kids would love that. Look at that round one. They put a little picnic table right here for people to stop and picnic for today. Here's that place we looked at from the bottom. And the opportunity to put another nice picnicking area for families. Yeah. A lot of opportunity here. Right now it's a lot of missed opportunity because if they think this is enjoyable to walk up through this fence, they're out of their mind. Here's another look at that fence we were standing at earlier. We're on top now where I told you I saw the fence and the benches. This is the fence up here. And they've fenced it all off. You know, you can go up to Pilot Mountain. You know, all these different state parks and you can walk right uh, right on the edge of the rocks there and, and people are smart enough not to get hurt or fall off, at least most of them are and they don't have a fence up there hanging rocks, same way, you can just walk around up there if they went up there and put one of these black fences around there to say, try to keep people so called safe, I mean that's just a stupid you know, 
people got to be responsible for self come up here and not be put the sign up don't be stupid don't take a selfie and walk off the thing but shouldn't have to put up one of these black fences like this i wouldn't be surprised if we started trying to put them everywhere i really wouldn't these days so here's the thing talking about the history starting in 1700s and hikers and sightseers have come to view its unique boulders for long distance vistas so this is kind of a high area here in a fairly much level plain outside of this area hey watch out there's some people on that rock better get them off get them fenced get them fenced in there's somebody else playing on that rock oh lord <laughs> can you tell i'm a little irritated does have a great view out there though guess that's the top up there if that antenna on it in a little building they have done good with their signs here showing the trees black cherry tree here not any berries on it right now it's a good way to learn your trees when they do that I got more of these crappy ass signs than I got anything else though you can see the cut marks through the fence I want to cord that rock it's amazing how they could cut that into big squares Looks like this would be another place for a great little overlook if you get over there and look down in the quarry. I can see it flattens off on the other side of where it drops off. Looks like the old trail went this way. And they made it curve with this sidewalk now. It's not really a trail. This is just a sidewalk all the way to the top. Here's a sign, but it just says Project by Chelsea R. Peeler doesn't say nothing about the tree, shows one of the overlooks. Luckily, they went on the other side of the fence, so you didn't have to look at that. They got some picnic areas right here in the middle of these rocks, at least, where you can kids can play around. I'm going up this other side and see what they got over here. Starting to get some views now. Yeah, look at this whole area here on flat, flat top of this rock. This is where people should be able to go. Lord. People go, all, people go over mountains all over this place without wires and crap jammed in there. I mean, good grief. That whole area. You know, you should be able to walk out there. We've got some kind of picnic area up here. I guess we got one of the workers up here in that John Deere. Here's the most awkwardest looking bench I've ever seen. I mean, let me see if I can even sit in the thing. <laughs> Feet off the ground. Is out there a little overlook over there of course they fenced in this is where you come up with the shuttle bus it's called false ways i guess they'd drive you up here but like i said they could just make a few handicapped parking spaces here just let them drive up with their tag to put on the mirror all right let's go down here and see what this blacksmith shop is it says chuck behringer blacksmith shop i don't know if it's something they just recreated or actually was a blacksmith shop up here maybe at one time when they were pouring this mountain not sure Got some horseshoes tacked to it. I don't even see a door to the thing. I'm <laughs> going back around. <laughs> Alright, there's the door right there on the side. 
course you can't go in that's a useless building sitting there for people to look at let's walk around this lower fence trail here I do appreciate Chelsea putting these pictures here and I see numbers on it so maybe there's a pamphlet you can get to tell you about the tree it'd be better just to put the information on the placard I think that's my opinion it's interesting how that tree has got a split right up the side there I don't know what caused that it's unusual looking to me Got this tree, you can see how it's working around the rod of cord. Looks like it had another section here at one time that broke off. The tree still seems to be doing good. Here's a view from the top, off in the distance there. You see that water tower and that tall bed? I'm assuming that's. Salisbury, I believe it is. I did a video on Salisbury, the town center Salisbury, if you want to check that video out. Yeah, just go on my, you click on the search button while you're on my homepage, and if you check, type in Salisbury, it'll take you right to that video. Or any of the towns that uh, I've been to. Look how beautiful that is. Now they got this pond that's formed down at the bottom of that quarry. You can see where they cut the quarry and how square that looking that is, but they could do this like Kerrigan Farms have a up there in uh, Mooresville has a quarry like this and they clean that quarry up and kids can swim in it and fish in it and they have uh, Halloween events there and you can rent it out for your own event it's got sandy areas around it you can play games and stuff and they have these cliffs and they got little wooden fences when you get up near the edge but it's you know it looks a little bit better than something like they got here and then of course they even got it where you can jump off the rocks into the pond it's nice so you could do something like that here i know this is a preserve and it's not for making money but you could put tables and picnics on some of those spots out there and let people walk around and look you know and just put signs up just like you do pilot mountain and uh hanging rock you know you walk around on them cliffs you go up to uh pinnacles point at crowder's mountain there's no fence there you just walk around on the edge like a person who's got some common sense and it's just fine so i know i don't know what the deal is here the insurance probably wanted to charge them a fortune if they didn't put up this fence most likely if you if i had to guess yeah, you can see out there i got that place where you can stand up there on the top i may go up there in a minute i talked to one of the workers here just a minute ago he's telling me, telling me about some bees that were right there he's a good guy up here working you know these guys do a good job up here i'm sure so i don't want the, my frustration with this fence to reflect negatively on them i know that probably put a lot of work into getting this preserve here but i don't understand if it's all fenced in i'm hoping that the whole property is not fenced in and animals can come and go All right, let's walk up here. They got some beautiful views up here. That mountain you see off in the distance, that's High Rock Mountain. On the other side of that mountain's High Rock Lake. That's where I live. And you go on down through there, you'll see the mountains of uh, Tuck, go around Tucker Town there. And uh, I'm sure, I don't think you can see it, but I think it's off behind these trees. Uh, Moir Mountain's off in that direction. Yeah, a lot of the trees growing up here are blocking the views, but it's a beautiful park. Here's another, this is the old quarry here, I guess we're cutting out of here. Got a little pond down there. That could be another place that could be made into a beautiful picnicking area and be landscaped and all. A lot of opportunity here in this preserve. I hope they do come back and do more. Uh, I talked to one of the people here, they said these fences were, as far as he knew, were going to be here for a while, so I, I don't know if they'll ever take them out. I hope, I hope they do, I'm, I'm sure, and like I said, they're probably here for overzealous safety, <laughs> I guess is the right t term, but uh, he was a great guy, great to talk to, so if you come up here, make sure you talk to these volunteers, they'll give you a lot of information about the history of the park, but uh, yeah, these fences. 
<laughs> and I don't get it. I wouldn't come back just because of that, but hopefully they'll come to their senses and take these fences down. Maybe put some little split rails around, and like I said earlier, you go on top of hang, uh, Hanging Rock, Pilot Mountain, any of these Crowder's Mountain. They don't have fences up there. They just want people not to be stupid. <laughs> if you want to come up here and walk on a cliff, you can't be stupid. And uh, I'm sure the insurance companies are the ones that are making this problem for them by wanting to charge them so much money. There's got to be a way to figure this out. We can't. I mean, I may be taking this the wrong way, but this park is represents what America's turning into. Fencing us all in, trying to keep us from being able to be free to move about. Just like the animals that are in this preserve, I don't see how they can move about if this fence goes all the way around. Like I'm gonna guess it does. I don't know, that's more like a zoo to me. Anyway. There's one more look back. I didn't uh, film from the area up there. They got a drink machine and all, and that's where the volunteers will be. And you can look around up there and see the views. Well, let's walk on back down, and uh, I think I'll call it there in the parking lot. I'm at the bottom now. We're at the parking lot. Here at the restrooms again. Looks like I'm the only other person here. There's our old Rev over there. Got a guy getting ready to cut the grass and use the we did it over there. So I think I'll step here and call it right here looking back up this trail. Yeah, Dunn's Mountain Preserve here. I believe they got a lot of potential at this park. But I won't be back if they don't take these fences down. That's just not enjoyable to me. They got a lot of areas they're not using where people could hike. I know the, the guy at the top said they were thinking about make, making some bike, mountain bike trails. I think it'd be great along with some hiking trails and uh, do something better than this. It just, for me personally, I don't like it. I, mean, I know that's the feeling that you got. I know the volunteers and the workers here do a good job. I'm not, like I said, I'm not, I have nothing bad to say there, but uh, we got to change this idea of over, being over safety conscious with fences like this. I mean, yes, people do fall off of cliffs from time to time and that's their responsibility to be smart when they come into a park. You come in at your own risk, so if you come in at your own risk, then I don't see no need for a fence. But in our Sioux Happy culture that we have today, I guess that's what we get. And you know, when people get rich at the lawyers and the insurance companies, I imagine. But anyway, come check it out for yourself. Don't let me uh, be the judge. Come out here and look at this park for yourself. Like I said, great views at the top, and I do believe that. Uh, it has the potential to be a lot better and a lot more beautiful than it is right now. So anyway, that's all I got for now. So if you enjoyed this little hiking tour of Dunn's Mountain, I'd appreciate it if you like, subscribe, and share. Y'all take care.